What up, peeps? It's Gabe. Welcome back to The Gabe Fix. If this is your first time watching, hey, girl, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button, stick around for a while. If you're an old-timer, welcome back. I'm glad you decided to come check me out one more time. Okay, so this is about to be a funny video for me because you guys know that I don't really do makeup like this. But look, this is what your girl did. I went to Sephora. Yes, and I pretty much bought the whole collection of Fenty Beauty. Probably not the whole collection, but I feel like I bought a lot. Like, I spent way too much money on this collection for me to not even wear these products. Like, y'all know me. I keep it very simple when it comes to my makeup, but it was just the peer pressure. It wasn't even the peer pressure. I was genuinely curious about this collection and then now that I've seen a million and one videos about it I went on Friday the day that it launched because I wasn't sure if it was going to sell out in my area or not it didn't sell out I actually went to Sephora today Saturday and it was plenty so I could have just waited until today but I didn't know like you never know if things are going to sell out or what they're going to do so I figured I would come and share with you guys what I got. Sharing it with my Insta Snap peeps, and I said I might do like a mini haul, but I think I'm gonna do kind of like a haul slash face type thing. Like, let me tell you, this is not a review because I am not a makeup guru. I don't wear foundation enough to tell you if it's good or not. I don't conceal, I don't contour, I don't even highlight. Well, I have been wearing some highlighter these days. Like, that's my new favorite product. But this is not a review. This is basically a watch me play around in this Fenty Beauty because I bought it all. And you might be interested in buying it too. So if you're a novice like me, this might be a good video for you to see if this is even something that you can work with. So, yeah, let's get started. First step in the process is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So let's talk about this packaging. It's super cute. I really, really like this. And by the way, I have two broken nails right now. Disclaimer, I am over this protein powder situation. If you watch my vlogs on Gay Babe TV, you know what I'm talking about. I tried something new and I am not a fan. Like, completely not a fan at all. I have had three chipped nails within a week and a half. That is not acceptable. Anyway, so here's the primer. And I'm assuming you just use it like, like moisturizer. Let's see here. Yeah. Is that too much primer? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know I don't do this. It feels good though, I will say that. I do feel like it has given me a nice little matte finish for it to be a primer. I, I guess I was just assuming that it's like moisturizer. So I was thinking that it was just gonna make me like a little oily, but I guess that doesn't make sense, huh? But yeah, it feels really good. So the next step is the foundation. Now you guys know this is big for me because I do not do liquid foundation. Not that I have never worn it before. I've worn it on multiple shoots before. Like, that's what makeup artists use. But on myself, I don't have time for all of that. So, I did buy the brush that also goes with the foundation. And it's so cute. I just think the color and the packaging is all super duper cute. But, sheesh. Can a sister get, get it off? <clears throat> okay really see this is doing too, too much and if I seem like I'm rushing it's because I am I'm trying to beat the light because I'm losing daylight and I really don't want to turn on any artificial light and yeah my mother-in-law is also here so I'm trying not to be rude and get this done quickly okay really really Brianna like I can't I can't get this thing off of here Okay, I'm not even going to tell you how long it took me to get that off of there, but here is the foundation brush. It looks really cute. Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation, and I have it in the color 430. I got color matched at Sephora, and she actually tried this color and the 450, 
but the 450 she said was like I could probably get away with it but it was a little darker so yeah let's see what this is talking about and a couple of pumps there and I don't even know how you do this because I don't wear foundation I think that you just put it over here and go for it right I mean I don't know <laughs> I may have gotten too much. Not too much. Oh, that's much? Maybe. Do I look like I don't know what I'm doing? Because I don't. But is there a technique when you put on foundation? Because if it is, I don't have it. Okay, so this is one layer of foundation and I think that it looks really good on my skin. Like honestly, I think it looks flawless. Does my skin look flawless? I feel like it does. Let me come a little closer. What do you guys think? And it feels, to me it feels lightweight. I don't like foundation because I feel like it's just too much, like too heavy, but this is not heavy at all. So. I think it's really pretty and I think that it matches pretty good. I don't have like a setting powder per se, but I did buy her blotting powder. So here it is. It's a blot powder. Oops. And then here is the, the translucent powder. And it does come with a sponge that fell out. But you can also use it with the brush which is something else that I got portable touch-up brush is what it's called tell me that's not the cutest thing ever it's just magnetic you just stick it like how convenient is this right so here's the deal I don't even know do I put concealer on before I think you put concealer on before you blot right I don't know we're going at this together I told y'all I'm a novice I did buy the Matchstick Trio, which comes with a concealer, a contour color, and a highlight. So, I got the Deep, which I actually went to Sephora with Kelly, my best friend today, and she said that I probably should have gotten the tan. Well, I didn't know. I didn't think that the concealer, like the concealer looked a little too light to me on the tan, so I went with the Deep. So, we're going to try it. We're going to see what it looks like. I don't know. If it don't work, it don't matter because I probably will never use this again. But isn't it the cutest little packaging too? It's magnetic. Look. How cute is that? I mean, what? That is super cute. So here's the color of the concealer. And it is in the color suede. See, I feel like that's a good concealer for me. But I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I don't wear concealer. So here's that. And then the contour color is called Espresso. Here's what it looks like. See, this is the color that Kelly told me looked too dark. I've never contoured before, except for that one makeup class that I took. And then here is the highlight color and it's called Cinnamon. Super pretty. Like that is a really pretty color. So yeah, what are we gonna try here? Let's try the concealer. I'm guessing. Mm. I make a triangle under your eye, right? Is that how it works, folks? Make a very awkward triangle under your eye. I 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've also seen people take this and do that. And then do this, maybe? Did I make that up? Where else do people put this? <laughs> this is ridiculous. So I'm gonna do this, which is the concealer, and then I'm going to try, what is it? This Espresso Contour. And if I'm not mistaken, it goes right here. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> this is so funny to me, you guys. I have no clue what I'm doing. Am I too far? It ain't even even. Okay, so I've seen people like contour their forehead. What is that supposed to make your forehead look smaller? <laughs> this is so funny. So what I'm gonna do is take my beauty blender because I have a beauty blender um, and blend in with concealer, I think, to the best of my ability because I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if this is blending good or not. Y'all yeah, gonna have to tell me. Oh, I was supposed to put some um, concealer on the sides. Not concealer, what's that stuff called? I feel like I was supposed to put some of that like here to make my nose look smaller why y'all ain't tell me okay let me let that sit for a minute i'm gonna go and try to blend this situation together you guys this is all a learning process okay if i'm not doing it right don't judge me because i don't do this y'all know i don't do this so it's a learning curve i'm gonna have my bestie teach me kales we're gonna do a video and she can teach me how to put on this makeup because I don't know how to do it. I don't know. I feel like I just wiped it all. Is it still there? Maybe. Doesn't seem to be blended very well though. This is ridiculous. I could never do this every day. There's women that do this every day. More power to you, cause this is not my jam. Okay, so here's the thing. It's always my assumption that concealer is supposed to get rid of the bags under your eyes, but I still have bags, full force. Like, you see that bag? So does that mean that I, that I blended it out too much? Did I not put on enough concealer to get that raggedy bag out of sight? But hit the road, Jack. Why you won't go nowhere? I don't know, guys. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do now because this is getting ridiculous. Um, yeah, let me do something to my eyebrows. So since I don't really have anything to technically set this, I'm gonna try dabbing some of this blocked powder on here. I don't want it to be too good. Can y'all see that? Mmm. Is it giving me like a white cast? I don't like that. Maybe I put too much. I kinda feel like it could look a little white, but I can't I can't exactly tell. What do y'all think? Does it like a white overcast? Does it look like Team Too Much? Do I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost? What's going on here? So I'm not gonna use this highlighter because I actually bought a kilowatt highlight duo. And I bought it in the color Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule because these were like the prettiest colors to me. Tell me that this is not the prettiest highlight colors you have ever seen in your life. Aren't they cute? OM to the G, you guys. So beautiful. So I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I heard a chick at Sephora talking about how you could kind of layer them. So I don't know. One has like more glitter in it than the other. Like this one seems to be way more glittery than this one. So I feel like I could almost use this one like as a blush. 
maybe I'll put it on my eyelid and then just you know what that's what I'm gonna do oh and I bought the highlighter brush too Ugh, here we go with this again I bought this highlighter brush which is the 120 and they've got this ridiculous cover on here again that's gonna take me three minutes that I don't have to get off because I'm losing light by the minute I'm actually gonna take an eyeshadow brush and just see what this color looks like on my eyelash can you see that I like to keep it pretty simple on my eyelid on my eyelid anyway. Did I say my eyelash? Y'all know what I meant. It's not too bad actually. Let's kind of put that on my lid a little bit. And that's all I'm doing with my lid. I'm not doing nothing extra. This highlighter though. I'm gonna use this as the highlighter with my brush. Ooh, do y'all see that? That is like, ooh, that is pretty. Mmm, I like that. Mmm, that's really pretty. Let me see this side. Wow. It's like super pigmented. And here's my thing with highlighter. Like, I never know what's too much and what's enough. Like, is that too much? Is that too much highlighter? I really don't know. Let's see what this looks like as a highlighter, the, the darker one, like on top of it. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. I just feel like it's too wide though. Like, should I be using the brush like this or like this? Like, that's just too wide. Mm, okay, okay. Is it too much? Too much? Or just enough? Do I need on a blush with this? Probably. Uh, let's see. All right, let me do something to my eyes because I feel really naked right now without liner, or mascara, or anything. The last thing that I bought was the gloss and I don't know what I did with the box because I've actually been using this and it is called I don't know because I don't know where the box is and it is the gloss bomb universal lip luminizer so what I do like about this is that it's a really pretty color for everybody like anybody can wear it it's super moisturizing I'm actually just a really big fan of it so I have worn it by itself, but I think that it looks really pretty with a liner. So I'm gonna put on a, um, what is this, current lip liner. And show you guys what it looks like with that, cause I think it looks really pretty. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Mm, that is so pretty. Yeah. All right guys, so I had to turn on my light because as you could see, it was getting darker and darker, but I wanted you to see the finished product. Y'all, the highlighter is so pretty. Oh, I love the color of that highlighter. Let me know what you think. Did your girl do a good job or mm, not so much? I don't know, I think that it looks good. I just don't feel like what I did was enough, if that makes sense. Like I know that I did the contour and the concealing, but I still feel like I have bags under my eyes. I don't feel like you can really see the contour. 
I don't know, maybe you can. So either I didn't use enough or I blended too much. I don't know, y'all gonna have to help your girl out. But overall, I think that these products are really good. Like they feel good, they went on very smooth. I didn't have any trouble applying them. I probably will not use this, um, just to be honest, because I just don't do all of this. Um, I really do want to learn how to use concealer though. Like I feel like that's something everybody needs to know how to use concealer. But I do plan on using the primer and the foundation again because you know, it's something different. I don't normally do liquid foundation, but I really like the way that it looks on my skin. Like I really think it has a beautiful finish. So I'm probably gonna use that. I know I'm gonna use my highlighters. Definitely gonna use those. And the gloss is like my, my favorite product by far is this gloss. And um, of course my brushes, I'm gonna use those. So it wasn't a total fail. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me play in some makeup. If you wanna see more videos like this, thumbs up, let me know. And cause I have tons of makeup, I just don't really wear it. But um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments or concerns, tips, suggestions, how I could have better used these products, let me know. Oh, and this blotting powder, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like it gave me a bit of a white cast. So I'm not sure that I'll use this, but it's cute, so I'll keep it. And um, yeah guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, bye.